and the harsh winter months still to come. The country has seen a sharp deterioration in the situation since the Taliban seized power in August. International funds which propped up the economy have been stopped as the world debates how to deal with the Taliban regime. The BBC's Yugita Lamaya, cameraman Sanjay Ganguly and producer Imogen Anderson have witnessed firsthand the dire situation on the ground and have sent us this report from Herat in the west of the country. We should warn you that there are distressing images in this report from the very start. This is what starvation does to a country, to its tiniest lives. Six-month-old Usman, Habibul Rahman, born three months ago. Afghanistan was barely surviving before the Taliban took over. But now, foreign funds which propped up this country have been frozen, putting at least a million children at risk of dying. In this ward, one in five will not make it. Osman weighs less than half of what he should. His father among millions who have no work. Osman's mother told us his twin is in a room next door. This hospital is full. Some babies are already sharing a bed. While we were there, six more children were brought in. It's the only facility for hundreds of miles. Because without foreign money, most hospitals are collapsing. Doctors and nurses, among masses of government workers who haven't been paid for months. A third of the country's people don't know where their next meal will come from. We traveled out of Herat to a rural settlement. Tens of thousands displaced from remote provinces by decades of war and severe drought. No means of income, barely any food. Some days, families here don't eat. They've sold whatever little they had. And now, some are forced to do the unthinkable. This baby girl has been sold by her family. We're hiding their identity to protect them. Her husband used to collect rubbish, but even that earns him nothing now. Once the baby is able to walk, she'll be taken away by the man who bought her. He's paid more than half of the $500 she's been sold for. That'll get the family through a few months. They've been told the girl will be married to his child but no one can be sure. We know there are other families here who've sold their children, and even while we've been here, another person came up to one of our team and asked if we'd like to buy a child. The desperation and the urgency of this situation is hard to put in words. There is no more time left to reach the people of Afghanistan. It cannot wait while the world debates whether or not to recognize a Taliban government. Nearby, Aid agencies hand out parcels that might save some children from hunger. Alone, they can't provide for the staggering needs. Giving the Taliban money without guarantees on human rights and how the funds will be used is dangerous. 
but Afghanistan is sinking fast. Millions here will not survive the winter. Yobid Alamai, BBC News, Herat.